Welcome back to Alabama Live. This morning is your chance to ask our financial expert from Max Credit Union any of your financial questions. Joining us now in studio is Ken Peavy from Max Credit Union. Ken, remind folks exactly what you do. Yes, so I'm a financial advisor. Uh, I help people with uh, whatever goals uh, they're trying to achieve, whether that's planning for retirement or they just need some help in budgeting. Um, just basically anything related to their financial picture, I'm there as a resource for them. A few minutes ago, we were talking to Jamie about our upcoming phone bank and fraud. So many increased cases of fraud. What all are you seeing? Oh yeah, it happens all the time. Anytime there's money involved, whether it's in people's investments or bank accounts, uh, you know, these hackers, these scammers are out to get that money to, to try to trick people. In fact, I was a victim of, of fraud last week on, oh, on my account and I, I noticed I was pulling up my online banking and noticed a charge that shouldn't have been there. I immediately contacted the branch and I work at Mac, so it was pretty easy for me <laughs> to do that. Uh, but they took care of it right away, shut my debit card off, uh, issued another one. So I tell people, just be aware of what's going on. Uh, don't. Don't uh, wait, uh, don't be embarrassed. Contact your financial institution and make sure that they're correcting that on your account. We have a caller on the line, Robert from Montgomery. Robert, what's your question? Yes, my name is Robert Jones from Montgomery, Alabama. I'm calling if I have a substantial amount of money in my checking account, where's the best way to invest it? Is it CD or is it money market account? Could quite hear what he was saying. There. He says he has money in his checking account and he's looking to invest it. Mm -hmm. And what sort of accounts should he consider for an investment? It's a great, great question. First of all, you need to have an emergency account and tell people if you don't have an emergency account, have at least six months worth of expenses in a savings or money market account. That way it's liquid, it's safe, you can get your money on that. After that, you might want to look into CDs, CDs with interest rates higher and paying much better than what they did a couple years ago. And then there's there's always other options down the road, and that's where I would uh, steer you to sitting down with a financial advisor. But definitely, if you don't have an emergency account established, I tell people to fund those first before you move on to some other, other areas. Robert, thanks so much for calling in. We appreciate it. And we were talking about fraud earlier. You mentioned you saw something on your account. Is it risky to have so much money sitting in one account? Does it help to move it to different accounts or have different savings and emergency accounts when it comes to fraud? It, it does. Um, you know, obviously your checking account is the most vulnerable because that's what you use all the, uh, time. all the time. And so therefore I tell people don't have a lot of money in there just because if there is fraud, Hopefully you will be reimbursed for that, but it may be a, a delay. Uh, so I tell people, have about one to two months worth of expenses in your checking, then have it to some other interest-bearing accounts that your money's working for you. Yeah, so you don't want to have it kind of like a sitting duck for a fraudster to, to get a hold of. That's right. It's just it's just easy to protect yourself and just doing some, some have a savings, have a money market account. You know, most banks now, you can just transfer that electronically if you need some more money in your checking. But if someone got a hold of your information, uh, they couldn't just clean the entire account out. You've got some protection there. All right, Ken and Robert, again, thanks for calling in. If you want to call in, you can still do so. There's more of our Ask the Financial Expert when we return. That number to call right there on your screen, 420-9732.